Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock, episode number 51. This is right next to my base. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I seen Slack Lizard building something over here, building up this wall along the side during a live stream or something. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> and I asked someone else about it, what, what he was doing as well later on and they didn't know what was going on. So I don't know what's happening here. Um, but now if you don't know where I am, this is the village that we did the mini game at. Uh, we had three different teams. We we had to trigger a raid. We had to beat the raid. <laughs> Whoever did it quickest had their version of the world saved. We were all on different versions of the world, different uh, saves of the worlds, whatever. And we won. My team won. And uh, this is what's left of the place. I don't know. How all this got broke. <laughs> we came down here, we were cooking things, we were sleeping and stuff. And if it, there's a shocker box in here too. A ton of coal. Oh, so whoever's working here is using this as storage now. Yeah, but this is like right next to my base. <laughs> my base will load in right there in a sec. There it is. It is like right behind it. You can see my base. You can almost see it from my base. Right next to it. I don't know what that is. If you know what it is, let me know <laughs> what's going on. Uh, but no, we're going to run over here first to start off. We built our raid farm last episode where we made it. We, we made storage for it and stuff. For the past couple of episodes, we've been working on this thing. And uh, yeah, I've got some emeralds in here now. So I'm going to take these. We're going to run and stock up our balloon. Sadly, we don't have enough to properly stock it up. I, I, I have been AFK, but not not tons. Uh, so here's our emerald balloon. I want to get another one of these up as well. By the end of today's episode, there might be because there's a TV stream day, a truly bad rock stream day tomorrow for me. So unless I get this episode done like all in today, which I won't, <laughs> uh, there'll be another balloon going up during that stream right around here, a little bit higher up. Uh, but no, there we go. We got our emeralds stocked up a little bit. While I'm over here though, I do need to check something. I'm gonna need some ink. I've gone through my massive, massive storage and we've got just 20 free ink sacks and that much black concrete. We're gonna need a lot of black concrete. Well, not a lot, but we're gonna need more black concrete. <laughs> and I think all of these shops might be out. Does, uh... Let me have a look if uh, Mr. Onion has any. No, he's out. I think he might be the only one that sells it. And he's dead, right? <laughs> Didn't he die? I don't know. I feel like he died. Um, does anyone else sell ink sacks? I know Silent has some. I know Liara has some. I don't think they have anything for sale though. And Silent never paid for the turrets he stole out of there. <laughs> uh, well, Silent's in my bad books. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, but there's there's one thing holding us back over over here at the base at the minute. We don't really have we don't have anywhere to do our thing, you know. We don't uh, have a proper storage area. Whenever I'm over here, whenever you see me doing a clip over here, I'm either flying around the base like this, or, <laughs> or I'm walking around the edge of it. We don't have anywhere to hang out and just do things, except for this stupid chest. Uh, so I want to get to to that today. I don't know how much we're gonna get done, but I definitely want to make a start on our. Uh, uh, hangout area, right? <laughs> so, uh, so we got these walls. Uh, we're gonna be living inside these walls. The reason why I need black concrete is because I don't want to ruin the square that we got. I don't want to add anything really in here. Uh, so the plan is to tear out, let's find the center, like right here. Uh, this block right here. Uh, so we're gonna tear out some of this. We're gonna have a little path. Go in down here, which will lead to a water elevator. Go in that way, which will be a up elevator. Can't break blocks. <laughs> and this one will be a down elevator. So we go up into the walls. Pretty close to the top we're going to be hanging out around around here, around the top. And uh, yeah, we're going to need the black concrete then to go here. So it doesn't ruin the effect that we've got, you know. So put that there, because right now we're going to see... That line, I'm hoping we're gonna not see any line because we got the black black concrete there. Hang on, I'm having second thoughts. I don't think I'm gonna be doing this. I got torches here. If I wanted to be mob proof, right, we're gonna need torches, which isn't gonna work because it's gonna break up the square because it's got these dark patches here, look. 
So we'll have a bright square down there that'll break it up. Uh, so I don't want that. And if we wanted it to be dark, we could have carpet or something. But I don't really like the idea of it being dark. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't think we're going to do this. Instead, uh, this might be a bad idea because I don't really like adding things to these walls. But I've got some glass. i got some white, some lime green. We're going to go and maybe do a couple of... So that's the middle. One, two, three... Four, five, maybe there. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe there. We're gonna have two bubble vators sticking out, going up there. I just don't really like that we're doing something to the wall because every single time I've tried to do something in here, I've not liked it. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try this though. Let me build up these lines. Let me uh, figure some things out. There we are. This is the first ones marked out. I'm worried. Really, really worried. I don't think it looks bad, though. There will be glowstone behind it as well, so you can see it a little bit more. Um, but no, we're going to do one on every single side now. Am I going to like it, though? <laughs> uh, so we've got green there, white there. We're just going to keep that pattern. and we're going to do green on that side, white on that side, green on the far side over there, white on this side. Um, and I guess I'll come back when I've got all of them, all of them laid out. Uh, I really hope it looks good. There's three zombie villagers over there. Hopefully they stick around. Um, I need to get my own villagers going over here. <laughs> And then we got the raid farm. We can get cheap. We can get cheap prices. Um, but no, look, I got the, I got the green in. I think that looks pretty cool. It surprised me actually how much I like it. <laughs> so, uh, but we do need to add some glowstone behind it. We don't really have to do too much to these either, because uh, that's that's gonna be it for decoration on the outside. Um, we just have to go in here, and it's got the black concrete there. So what we're gonna do is do glowstone right there, and that's gonna be it. Just have some signs here, and then the the block that we need. Also, actually, is there any bedrock below these? Glass there. That's going to really mess things up. I didn't think about that. Glass there. Glass there. We're getting really lucky. I hope it's all got glass. 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 Last one. Please don't have bedrock. <laughs> glass there, and glass there. Nice. Okay, I just need to get the the water in. Uh, get some magma blocks, get some soul sand, and then we can start working on one of the one of the basey areas where we hang out. And now I'm sad because there I was looking at the wrong block. There is bedrock right there where we need to do the bubble vater, so that's great. <laughs> uh, so instead, maybe we'll bring the glass forward a little bit. Nope, there is one there as well. Ah uh, no. Maybe we can do something like that. So we don't have to worry about the bedrock. We don't have to do anything funky with pulling this in and out or whatever. We'll do that there. And we could just have a half slab then to walk up onto it into the water column. That should work. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work. All right, let me get the let me get the glowstone in and uh, let me get the water in and I'll meet you in a minute. We'll do something up there as well so we can actually get out and not just sit in the column here. Well, if things look a little bit different, it's because we are no longer on the server. Um, we're back on the realm for a minute. <laughs> we're just testing things. We're back and forth like crazy at the minute. So the random distance is bad. The rain is making it even worse. Can't see over there. Uh, but no, I actually really, really like the way the walls look with those bubble elevators. Ah, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> but I think it looks pretty cool. I really like it. We got the glowstone in the back now. We got the water going up. I've also made a little area here. So, uh, oh, I haven't done the slabs just yet, but let's go up. I've started to dig out our hangout area. Just one block. Uh, we want to go back down. We can go down there. It'll all be on this layer here, probably. I'll just bring it up a little bit. Uh, let's head out for a minute, though, just in case I change my mind. Oh, and this is also a thing. BJ is sleeping. I also have to sleep. Some reason one player sleeps is broken on the realm. I'm not sure why, because it works on my community realm. Uh, <laughs> but we both need to sleep now to uh, skip today. Right now you can see what it looks like. Got these things going up. I also have something on the top, look. 
Um, I've got that because otherwise it'd look weird with the way the lights set up in there. And the way it stops and we have to get out. It, just, it, may, it works out that we need something at the top. So I, I was either going to do black concrete or we were going to do the con concrete to match the color glass. And I think that looks pretty good. So we go up here. Here's the concrete. Otherwise, uh, that would just be a glass window and it'd look funky from outside. So I've got that little cap on the top just to fix that. Um... Well, now we can start working on our base area. So I guess we'll pick one of these sides to uh, start building some things. I kind of want to get some micro farms set up. Nothing too crazy today. Uh, we need to really get these slabs in there as well. Um, so maybe one of these two sides over by the storage room. Wait, it was, it was stream day yesterday. Two days have passed since the last cut. I'm really sorry that I didn't stick to my upload schedule. Just one day. Okay, <laughs> we're still kind of on a roll with uploads, uh, but things have happened. Stream day happened. I did some things before stream day as well. Um, so we go in here now. We have a way to get down into the area that we were going to be working on. We have a massive, massive room in here. We have a one by like nine, I think this is. One by nine around the hool, the hool of the base. <laughs> so, so I've decided this is going to be for storage only. Down here, we're gonna have like a, a ton of impulse sorters, one for every item or something. I don't know, we'll see how much we can fit. It's gonna be a big storage system down here though. Um, I've decided to do that because let me jump back out. God, it takes me so long to get around my base. Uh, <laughs> I've decided to do that because uh, I've just, I've changed my mind on what I wanna do with the base. I know I keep changing my mind. We have dug all of this out for no reason here. You can see the big square on the base because I've decided we're gonna go with a a black concrete flatland. So as far as we can see here, all of this is going to be black concrete. And then we're going to have like little specks of green like we, we've got with there. White and green like what we've got with these lines. Uh, and that's going to be where farms are going to go. So the farms are going to stick out. Just massive big flat black area here. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the idea is that this machine that we've got is slowly sucking the life out of... Uh, Oh, Minecraft, I guess. Taking all of the nature back and leaving nothing is the plan. So that's the idea with the base. I'm not going to change your mind, I prom promise. It's just... <laughs> uh, that, that, that's the plan now. But the thing is, we have to take this wall up a bit more. So we don't have to dig all of this away. Don't really want to dig it all away. So if we bring up the wall, then we can stretch it out over it instead of digging all this and then placing down all the concrete. Just makes things a little bit easier. We're going to need so much black concrete, though. Ink farm is definitely going to be a thing, but that is uh, something I talked about during stream day, and yeah, that I did that little dig before before stream. Man, last time I updated this comment book was way back episode 33. Oh, this is my book. Okay, <laughs> this is my book. I last updated updated it 39, then it says 38. 37 was the last one I did. Yeah, someone asked me as well to check my comic book, update this. Uh, I thought I did it recently. This, that's gonna be something we gotta do soon. This was a thing uh, during stream day. Okay, scam. If uh, if you haven't seen Zap's episode, Zap ran over here and did this during an episode. <laughs> and uh, he also was a fill-in for someone for stream day. Silent couldn't make it, sadly. He uh, had to jump out of stream day and Zap was kind enough to fill in for him. So, um, yeah, he didn't really have a plan for his stream. <laughs> and I was I was sat in his chat, I was chatting with him, I was trying to convince him to come back over to Scam and try it again. <laughs> and he did it again. If you're quick enough, you can go watch the VOD probably if he's kept it up on uh, Zap's Mixer channel. But no, we got Zap to do it again and we got an extra diamond. We are now minus one diamond for this Scam. If you didn't see, we had some diamonds despawn the way the redstone was set up. A bunch of people were saying that I did my redstone wrong, but I didn't. I just, I forgot to fill in a couple of blocks uh, where the water was, so the, yeah, the, the the items fell on the blocks and despawned. <laughs> so I didn't do the redstone wrong, it was just I didn't place a couple blocks, okay? Uh, but no, I managed to get Zap to do this twice, which is hilarious. <laughs> and if you're curious about what I got up to during stream day, I worked on a new shop. If you didn't see... One of my previous episodes, I set up this balloon, this green balloon. We're selling emeralds from it. I was trying to build another one here. Look, you can see it's starting to take shape. It's not done, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Uh, but no, that's going to be selling enchanted books eventually. Uh, so this is pretty much like the raid farm balloons here. 
This is the second one. I'm not sure when we're gonna get that done. We have a few things that's unfinished now. We got the game. Over the gaming area, we got this balloon. Do you wanna get them, uh... Do you wanna get them done? I've left some... I've left some, uh, shulkers over here too. Just figured I'd show you everything that happened during stream day and before, in between the cuts and stuff. Anyway, moving on. Let's, uh, get something done. 15 minutes into the episode. Let's, let's make a little bit more progress here. Uh, so I'm lighting up some of the sides of the base. Um, to put black concrete on top. <laughs> if we're gonna have black concrete covering the grass, we're gonna need to make sure no mob spawn. So we're, I'm just adding some lights. I did add lights on this, uh, hill here. Don't need that though, because I'm gonna be tearing that out. Not sure why I didn't think. Uh, but yeah, we don't need lights up there. So I'm starting to mark out some things. We're gonna be doing some micro farms today, like I mentioned earlier on. Uh, to get going. So this is the height the concrete's gonna be at. The concrete flat's gonna be at. Uh, so we got three, three little platforms here. All of this will be black anyway, but I'm just marking out where I want the farms to go. <laughs> so if you can think of any other micro crop farms that might be useful, let me know. I've so far I'm gonna do a, uh, a cocoa bean farm, micro cocoa bean farm, micro crop farm, just a general crop farm like wheat, and then we're gonna do a sugarcane one right there. Probably gonna have a massive sugarcane one eventually anyway. Uh, but we're just gonna have a micro one here for now. <laughs> uh, so let me know if there's any other little micro crop farms we could use. Uh, but no, I've got some, I've got some, a jungle log. I've got a cocoa bean here. We're gonna, we're gonna start these things. I'm not gonna be linking any videos for these things, because I'm probably just gonna build them on myself. They're super simple to do. Uh, I got some water behind those trap doors inside a, a uh, stone block. There. <laughs> Just gonna do a observer here. Can I face this way and do it? Or is it gonna be annoying? It's gonna be annoying. So we <laughs> go around the back. Place a observer right there. Then I think just the block with dust will do. Let's put dust there. And we need this part open so we can put in some bone meal. It's not gonna be zero tech. I'm not gonna do a zero tech one. We'll just do the bone meal one. Zero tech ones will break eventually and... Yeah, we'll just break eventually. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just use a bone meal one and we'll have a chest there. That should be it. Right, I think that's all we need to do. It's done. Nope, that's not what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing this. I forgot to do a automatic dispensing system here at the back. So it's just gonna detect whenever something goes into this dispenser, fires it out. Move the storage off to the side. Really, really simple setup. Hop a minecart there on top of a hopper, which will put this stuff in that chest. Uh, so, so you can see what's going on if you want to copy it. I didn't follow any tutorials. We are gonna cover the... Gonna cover this up though, so none of the items go flying off anywhere, obviously. But there's that one. Pretty much ready to go. Just gonna tidy it up at some point. Next one is... Uh, we're gonna do the cocoa bean one. Two dispensers isn't enough. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna put a lever right there. We're gonna put in some bone meal in both of these. Pretty sure two will be enough. I did build one of these on Java a while back, so it shouldn't be too hard to recreate, I guess. <laughs> Look at that. That doesn't work. <laughs> how did that move? And that didn't work anyway. Okay, we're gonna have to obviously not do it like this. <laughs> Not sure how to do it. Maybe we have to have a sticky piston pulling this up and down, I guess? Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to have a sticky piston pulling this, this up and down. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up. I'll come back when it's done. I think we are just about done with these... With these micro crop farms, I decided to throw up a bamboo one because I'm always complaining I have no scaffolding. <laughs> so, so now we have a... Uh, we, can, we can get a steady supply of bamboo. We can make ourselves our own scaffolding. That's nice, that works perfectly. Just the exact same thing as our uh, sugarcane one, just without the water there. Um, so I got the cocoa bean one done as well. Decided to just finish them all off camera here. <laughs> uh, then we throw our, our uh, bone meal in there. Stand here and we can just uh, hold, right click on this and get ourselves a bunch of... Cocoa beans. That's nice. Uh, this one, you've seen that one. We just throw our bone meal in there and we'll get a bunch of sugar cane. And this one, this one's interesting. I didn't know you could do 
micro crop farms just with one. I know you probably could have done it, but I, I didn't know how easy it was to do. Uh, so, uh, so I, this is Rogue Fox's design. This is the only one I didn't build myself. Uh, if you want the link to the video, is down in the description. He didn't do a tutorial on it though. He did just show it. Um, but no, in in that episode that I've linked in the description, you can see this. You can copy it. It's really really simple. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was fun. It's got one dispense. I wanted to get this one built up. So you throw that there. We are gonna need a auto clicker for this. Sadly, if you don't know what an auto clicker is, it's basically what it sounds like. You download something from the internet and you can set it up to click every. However long you want. So if you want it to click every five seconds, we can do that. Want it to set? If we set it to click every second, we can we can do that. Because uh, if I hold it, sadly, it freaks out. Look, let's uh, let's hold it here. Actually, it's working right now. I don't know, but it decides to freak out randomly sometimes and doesn't work. So I, we might need an auto clicker for that. But that is behind the scenes. You won't have to worry about me using that. But <laughs> see, there's all of those. I accidentally died my bed. Dyed my bed uh, brown too. Let's make sure we're throwing back the seeds in there. Throw these out, and that's pretty much how the whole base is gonna go. Um, we do need to decorate it, but all of this is gonna be black concrete, as far as we can see. We're gonna have random farms dotted around the area, some other random things as well, in between. <laughs> I just gotta decorate it. But no, I'm uh, I'm happy we got all those set up. I'm gonna wrap up here for the day. Next episode, we're probably gonna build a squid farm because we really need to be able to get our hands on a lot of ink. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.